Oh, we're gonna need a saucepan. I made them move the vacuum out of the shop and moved it over. It's and crashed. Slow. In Warehouse, we take our shoes off when we come inside, and that's all the shit that comes into your house. Let's pee with Matt. Pee with Matt. Welcome to today's edition of. We're gonna bake some shit. <laughs> the other night we had some friends over for dinner and we made a big spread for them. It made me realize how much I missed cooking. When we lived in Phoenix, it was something that I did a lot. We both did a lot. It really started baking when Blue and I started dating. So I've been doing that for years and just since we moved back to Los Angeles, I've kind of uh, neglected it and for me, cooking and baking is just a really creative kind of zen experience for me. And it, I realized the other night that I realized how much I missed it. And I decided that I should, uh, I should start doing more of it. When I was trying to think about something to make today, I remember that we had this mint plant out front and thought that I should make something with mint in it. Blue bought this mint plant and he brought it from Phoenix to LA and it's just been kind of sitting on our front porch. It's died and come back to life. And I thought, well, I'm gonna bake something today and I'm gonna try and utilize some of that mint that we have out front. I'm really glad I had this idea because I think we're gonna have some delicious stuff. So, I did what? Your story is not true at all. Why? What's I that? told you to bake something with that mint. He's right. <laughs> This, this was, whole thing was my idea. You're right. I said, will you bake something? <laughs> I was going to make cauliflower steaks. So maybe I'll make those in a different video sometime in the future. I found a recipe that requires fresh mint, and it's a mint chocolate chip cookie recipe, which sounds pretty amazing. I picked my mint, and uh, we're going to get baking. First thing, we got to make our butter mint. Can you move those chocolate chips over here a little bit? Yeah. yeah. So. Cho the, the recipe calls for a half a cup of chocolate chips, but of course I went a little heavy on it. One, because I knew that Blue and I would be eating the chocolate chips during the baking. And two, Crow loves chocolate. So we're gonna put a little extra chocolate love in there for Crow. I've been messing with this mint so much, I feel like it's losing its scent. I'm afraid I'm going to... I've killed some of the mint flavor. We'll put a little extra mint sure in there. because I'm hungry. Um, we let this go for two to three minutes until we can smell the mint. So you tell me when you smell mint. I mean, I can smell it now, it's on my hands. But I can... No, in the air. No. You need to be able to smell it in the air. Listen, the only thing I want is food in my belly. Can you feel the mint in here? Can you smell? Can you smell the mint in here? Boom, boom, boom. The aroma it brings to fill your belly with chocolate chip cookies and all its tasty things. Rubbing chocolate chip cookies? I thought you were making brownies. Are you serious? Where have you been? I'm trying to get steady shots. I'm not actually listening to what you're saying. Let's see what we have to eat. Ugh, ow. This is one of my least favorite parts about apartment living. Tiny, tiny refrigerators. Wouldn't you agree? Matt? Yeah. I would definitely agree. Matt. Catch. <gasps> Are you? I have my hands full. Where is it at? In there. Oh, man. I would've been so mad if that. I would have to change halfway through this video. That does not sound fun. You just I wasted an egg. I can't believe you just threw an egg at me. You're such a punk. 
So it turns out I did in fact kind of mess up the mint. I wasn't supposed to chop it so finely. So now we got a little dilemma that the, all these leaves have absorbed all the butters on those. I'm gonna try and strain it a little bit and see how much leaf I can get out. But we might just have to roll with having leafy cookies. Stop eating all my chocolate chips. Catch. No. Stop doing that. There's my spatula. You put it in the sink. If I wanted it in the water, I would have put it in the water. Mmm. It's minty. The sheets make the bed. We partnered up with Casper. This is our Casper mattress. And Casper mattresses are obsessively engineered. They are a super fair price. Their design features foam layers that make it just the right amount of firmness. So it's got the right amount of bounce. It's got good sink. And they do free shipping to anywhere in the US and Canada. And they make it super painless if you want to return your mattress within your 100 day trial period. We've had our Casper mattress since December and we're kind of obsessed. We love our Casper mattress because the foam keeps us cool at night and it absorbs movement so I don't have to listen to Blue complain about how much I toss and turn. All Casper mattresses are designed, you are so close with that land, developed and assembled in the good old USA. They offer free delivery and painless returns within a 100 night trial period. So if you're in the market for a new mattress, if you go to casper.com slash mattblue and enter the promo code mattblue, you get 50 bucks off your mattress. The link and promo code are in the description. Terms and conditions apply. I'm getting comfortable. <laughs> you got some nice vegan almond milk or pea milk in there. I got some. Matt. What? Catch. Thanks for hanging with us when we make some cookies. Give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, comment below, all that fun jazz. We're gonna put the recipe in there below so you can make these cookies. If you do make these cookies, I wanna see. I wanna see how yours turn out. Peace out, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out with us. Not a fun bark. I get to lift the mixers. <laughs>